Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Setbacks, not failures. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, right? I'm going to tell you what. I don't really see any failures I've had in life. Because to me, the whole word failure means, it really does mean that I've been stopped cold. And I don't feel like I've been stopped cold. I mean, if I'm having this conversation with you, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of where I'm wanted to be. You know, ever since college, I had a plan to be a certain amount of freedom. I'm there. Now, it wasn't a straight path to it. <laughs> and I had plenty of setbacks, but I wouldn't call them failures. Like a failure would mean... To me, if I had a failure, that means I wouldn't be having this conversation with you now. You know, I'd, I'd just be some nondescript person somewhere, maybe working some job just to sustain myself. Right? If it was a failure, but what it is is a setback. And now here's the difference. It's more than just semantics. A setback just means you stopped on the path to where you're going. Right? That's all it means. I already had the goal. I'm making that goal right now. And they, and actually, I say at college, this is a goal I've had since the age of seven. And, you know, historians will know what the goal is, right? Historians will know what the goal is. And I'm just like, damn, this is perfect. Everything has gone to it now. As I said, it wasn't a straight, it wasn't a straight line. And, there, and immediately there were things in the past that I saw as failures at first. And I was like, man, I failed at this. Wait a minute. Like, there was um, something in particular I had seen as a failure for a long time. Something that bothered me on a small thing, right? But then, and I couldn't even say it was a failure because um, it was something that was beyond my personal control. Unfortunately, I can't really discuss it. But, um, I mean, legally, I can't discuss it. But I look back at it, I was like, you know, that might have been one of the best things that ever happened to me. It was a setback. But that setback kept me from going on a certain path that might have taken me out of where the path I'm on now. So it was definitely a setback. But see, sometimes a setback is uh, God's way. I'll say just God, regardless of how you worship God. We, this is a universal, however you worship. I'm just going to say the word God, right? It's God's way of saying, nah, not that way, son. No, nah, no, nah, chill out, chill out. All right. You don't see it because God says, you know what? I see the whole path. I see where you're supposed to go. But I also see you going in this wrong thing. So I'm going to put an obstacle right here. And at first, when you run into that obstacle, you're like, oh, man, I'm failing and stuff. It's like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But then with some hindsight, you say, you know what? If I stayed on that path, I might be dead now. Or I might be stuck in a situation that I don't know about now. You know, I can't deal with now. So it was a setback. And see, when you have them, when you have something doesn't go right, it's my, it's, it's my spiritual belief that, that that's God saying, hey, I'm trying to get you on the right path. Pay attention. You know, yeah, it feels bad. Yeah, you know what? It might have been a breakup. You might have lost a job. You know what? You might have lost your home. I spoke before of... Um, I spoke before of when um, I lost everything in a fire in my freshman year in college, right? And I could say, oh, man, that's it, man. But you know what? It's, it might. It, it was actually something that humbled me a little bit. I was an arrogant little guy. <laughs> Seriously, I was, I, was, I was arrogant then. Like People think I'm going to be arrogant now. I'm like, no, I was really arrogant then. So that kind of humbled me. It let me know, like, don't get too caught. You can like this material stuff. And it was like, wait a minute. That kind of helped me. You know, that setback helped me because it showed, hey, you know what? You don't have to spend time and money getting all this stuff. It can disappear. All right. So I've never been, like I say, other than for shoes, I haven't been overly materialistic. I'm, I'm, you know, there was a time in my life I had ran down shoes. So, yeah, I got to give me that one with the shoes. But he was like, you know, that was actually a good thing. And in fact, when you look at a lot of stuff, failed relationships, right? Yeah, I would just look back at a failed relationship and think, you know what? This was the best thing that ever happened to me. Like, God, I dodged a bullet. 
You know, you'd be like, you know what, I dodged a bullet with that one. You don't think so at the time. You never think so at the time. And really, you're not supposed to because you're right there. But you look back at it, it was like, well, if I had stayed with that person, then I wouldn't have met this other person who was really better for me. Or I wouldn't have uh, been on this path. Or if you're a creative person, how many people, how many songs do we have out there? Probably a whole country music genre that happened because of a bad relationship, you know. But how many songs we have out there? How many books we have that were written because somebody went through something bad, right? You know, how many inventions because somebody, instead of being sad, they say, okay, I'm going to throw myself into it. Or how many people might have found because they needed to move or something or they lost something or... They went great. And I've read accounts of other people. They've had homes burned down. They've uh, went through foreclosure, bankruptcy. And they end up, it was like, you know, at the time it didn't seem good. But then he looked back at it, things are better. Because it, it, put, it pushed them into another way. You know? It's incredible. It, it, it's, it, it's an incredible thought, right? But it's a setback. It's not a failure. You know? Like, I used to used to say, oh, yeah, I failed at that. It's like, no, not really. It was a setback. Because every single setback, when I say every single setback, put me where I'm at now. Where I can have an impact on people's lives just, just me by being inspiring. You know? You know, and there was some stuff I might have did. I might have thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to make some money with it. But I'm just like, you know. Financially, and I don't really talk about this a lot. Financially, I can't think of enough stuff to spend money on. <laughs> it was like, wow, you know, okay, I done bought this, bought this. It was like, oh, I still got more. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's funny. If some of those setbacks hadn't happened, I wouldn't be in this position. You know? And I, re I mean, and I, I can think back to little stuff that might have seemed annoying, might have seemed a bad thing. You know, some setbacks that said, you know, been on some jobs. Might have got into it with some coworkers or something. Right? And I could might say, you know what, that that was terrible. That was, I handled it poorly. I really shouldn't have bust him in the face. But, but, I'm just joking, y'all. I ain't bust anybody in the face. That they can admit to. Anyway, right? But, no, I was thinking, you know, if that incident hadn't happened or this incident hadn't happened there or somebody hadn't got on my nerves here on a job like hey have you ever been on a job right you can't stand it <laughs> right oh it's cool or you comfortable in it but then you get a supervisor yeah this is a better example because i know this has happened to a lot of people i've known personally they get on a job they real comfortable having fun but their destiny god's like you know this person up here, I got, I got, I got a million dollars waiting for them over here, but they want to mess with this minimum wage job just because they they laugh a lot. Shoot, let me let me send somebody. Shoot, let me give let me give my manager or something that's gonna get on their nerves or a coworker that's gonna bother them. I gotta make them uncomfortable. And you might be thinking, man, I love that job, but I, I just couldn't take the coworkers anymore. But because you left, you were uncomfortable, and you might say, man, I, I wish I had stayed, but. You make that move, right? You make that move to get something better. And then that better takes you into what you're supposed to be doing. Boom. Boom. Or, um, I mean, there's so many things. So you got to look at it. Setback, hey, you know what? You know what? It's God, right? That setback is God. Like, shutting down a path that you were going on and trying to get you on the right one. Now, one of the things you got to understand about you can't dwell on it. Some people dwell on that thing, and they like, I failed. That's a part of depression. I failed at this. I was like, no, what did you learn from it? What did you learn from it? And you might be better off. You might be better off. So anyway, that's it for now. I want you all to keep rising and transforming. Peace and many blessings.